Hello everyone, this is Johnny555 and I am here with Danilo. How are you, Danilo? Good man, how are you? I'm good, man. So yeah. let's start, let's start. I mean, I don't see people connected just yet, but pretty soon they're gonna start joining. So Okay. So Danilo, uh, let's start with your weight and height. Yeah, so currently I I'm six one, or like right under six one. Um, and right now I'm around like 244, 245 in the mornings. That's awesome, man. And you're also a personal trainer, right? Yeah, so I do online coaching. As, okay. Yeah, it's not in person. I do have posing clients that will be in person sometimes if they're local, but majority of my stuff is online. Mm, perfect. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, so this video is going to stay online. So, I mean, people, they're going to see it right now. Some others, they're going to see it later. But okay. for those for those people, like if you want to if you want to follow Danilo, um, his social medias are in the description of the video. So if just click on the link. It's gonna take you straight to his Instagram. Yeah, yeah. No, all my socials are just Danilo Sipovac. My YouTube, my TikTok, my Instagram. Perfect. And I also tag your channel though, so I have everything on the description. Okay. Perfect, man. I appreciate that. Awesome. So Danilo, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. Why why do you work out? So I actually I got. I've always been pretty active. I played baseball when I was, or started baseball when I was around eight. Played that up until 17, but I got in the gym around 16. Um, so I've been training for almost seven years because I'm 22. But I started to get serious after this, or serious with bodybuilding after my dad passed away. He passed away oh. back in. And so that kind of was like, the gym was my place to kind of go and just clear my head on stuff. But I started to see a lot of progress with it since I was going more frequently. And ever since then, people were like, you should compete, try competing. So I did my first show in 2019 and I won my class. And ever since then, I've just like fallen in love with bodybuilding. So that's, that's cool. I mean, it's sad about your dad, but whatever you're doing, bro, it's working out definitely for you, man. Cause you look amazing. Thank you. No, I, I feel like he I feel like he helped me really find my way because I was wanting to play professional baseball. But then after he passed, I was kind of like stuck in between of what to do. Yeah. So, so I already see people joining in. I kind of see some comments popping up. I hope everyone is doing fine. Man, I just got out of work. Traffic was crazy today, man. Yeah, dude, crazy. Traffic in Tampa is pretty nuts, too. I bet. I mean, I haven't been to Florida. You're in Florida, right? Yeah. I haven't been there. Miami, it's in my bucket list. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm really hoping to go this year, but if it's not this year, it's going to be next. <laughs> yeah, no, but, Miami's spot. But man, I, it's in my bucket list. So, yeah. so Danilo, so what workout routine would you recommend for bigger biceps? What's working out for you? So for me, what I've done is... It depends on the person, but for me, I do I do biceps twice a week with back, and I just stick to two movements. I'll do preacher curl machine, and then I do overhand easy bar curls. Okay. And with each one, I do around four sets, like four to five sets, and honestly try to just do as many reps, up to 20 as I can. That's awesome, man. What yeah. about for chest? What's working out for you? So chest used to be a weak point of mine. Um like just with connection wise, but as of lately with my chest movements, same thing. I do about two or three movements on my chest days twice a week and I'll start out with a pec deck fly and then I move into a pressing movement, whether it be like an incline dumbbell, incline Smith or like a plate loaded incline press. Okay. I'll do usually two heavy sets of that and then like a lighter set afterwards is like a back off set. Mm, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Let me look at some of the comments. I have uh, Risky Frisky. What's good, bro? How's everything going? Joshua Corner, Derek. I hope everyone is doing well today. It's been a long, a really long day for me. Hola, Eric. Como estas, Eric? All right. So, like, like I told you before the live, we're going to have a little game, a little activity. It's going to be fun. Okay. It's, it's gonna be fun, bro. So I'm gonna put you through some situations, like gym situations, and yeah. I wanna know your reaction. Okay. All right. So yeah. we're gonna start that in a, in a little bit more, but let me start with some other questions. So, yeah. <laughs> have you ever competed before? 
Yeah, so I, I, I've done four shows total. Um, I did my first show, in, or I did two shows in 2019. And then I did my third one at the end of 2021 in, or wait, no. Third one? No, I have, I've, yeah, I've competed four times. I got that mixed up. So I competed twice in 2019, once at the end of 2020. And then I did nationals in Orlando at the end of 2021. And so since then, I've taken time off to put size on, and I'm going to be competing again this year in October and then in November. That's awesome, man. Were you nervous the first time? I was nervous, yeah. But as soon as I got on stage, like, it felt good. Like, it felt like I, I wanted to be there and I should be there. So it, it was it was definitely nerve-wracking. But as soon as I got out there and, like, music started playing, I, I felt a little bit better about everything. That's awesome, man. Are you? Do you consider yourself, like, a shy person or no? I used to be before I started bodybuilding. Yeah. Like that's what a lot of people don't know is because I don't know if you've seen some of my posts. Like I do like comedic stuff too. Mm -hmm. And it did not used to be me at all. Even in person now, like I'm still a little bit more reserved and like, you don't, if you don't really know me that much, I'm probably not going to go out of my way to say something. Yeah. Um, it's bodybuilding's brought me out of my shell a lot. And I, mm -hmm. I appreciate that it's done that too. That's awesome, man. I was actually looking at some of your videos, and I know you do some funny videos. That's why I'm like, let me do some sort of a, a game activity. It'll be yeah. fun. <laughs> That's fine with me. That's fine, bro. And what motivates you to work out? Um, there's a couple of different reasons, but I think the main one is just I don't want to kind of be like average at what I do. Like I want to be the best at what I'm doing and just kind of how anyone else is with it. But at the same time, I also influence a lot of people and that motivates me daily. I get a lot of messages from people saying like, I got them in the gym. I help them lose weight. Even my clients too. Like when my clients come to me with stuff, it's just a good feeling seeing that. And it's like, it kind of motivates me to keep doing, keep doing what I'm doing. Like if I'm having a bad day, it's like, there's someone else out there having a worse day than me, so it's like I don't need to be complaining. That's awesome, man. Remind me one more time. So you're you're a personal trainer. So do you do one on one training or just online online training? So it's online one on one training. So with with the online coaching, it is what you'll get is it's very in depth. Like you'll have a training program, your meal plans. There's a whole weight tracker spreadsheet like info on your supplementation, macros, and the whole spreadsheet for you to fill out like your weight, what workout you did that day, your cardio, how many calories you burn. Um, there's a ton of other PDFs too, but it's very it's very one-on-one -on -one and personal with the person. So they're getting what they're paying for. Um, I have like a system kind of how anyone does just so I'm not having to like fully build out a plan. Like I have like a template, but okay. in individual like workouts for people or food it's custom to what their needs are just because when they sign up there is a consultation form section that they fill out and they send their pictures in and everything that's awesome man yeah and, I, and base uh -huh. oh, i was just gonna say i think a lot of people can benefit from it because a lot of people are like i need an in-person trainer but it's like i i've had clients convert because i used to live back in nevada in reno mm -hmm. and i had a couple clients from there that were in person convert to online training and they're doing just as good if not better than when i was training them in person that's awesome man so it seems like you have a really good system yeah no definitely and i think with people that like are kind of afraid to take that next step that's usually the biggest thing i see is they're afraid to ask for the help mm. but I mean, y'all we all were at that point at one time i was at that point at one time where i got my coach and it was it was hard to be like hey like i want your help yeah but it, Day, there's always like more people you can learn from more knowledge even like for myself that's why i have a coach too because he helps keep me accountable on a date like a day-to-day -day basis that's awesome bro and would do you recommend like um, a personal trainer for beginners absolutely i do because a lot of people get into this and then they might ask someone something that doesn't maybe know what they're talking about and kind of get misled and I don't want people going in the wrong direction because there is a lot of misinformation out there and a lot of people that are just beginning will see something that's completely incorrect but they say it's correct and they're like oh well I'm gonna believe that no and the thing is that for example I'm talking about myself right like for example sometimes I see like people working out in the gym and I'm trying to replicate the workers that they're doing only because they're they look amazing right they look in really good shape yeah. But what if that workout only works out for them? 
and not really for me, right? Because yeah. even I feel kind of weird, like when I'm doing those workouts, I feel like I'm doing them wrong. You know what I mean? No, I agree. There are some workouts that people just don't connect with, which is okay. That's why I think it's all about finding what movements work for you. Because a lot of people will tra- like they'll change their training on a weekly basis. Mm-hmm. I've been on the same training program for the past two years. And I've been growing. It's been working. When you find movements that work for you, you should get really good at them and perfect the movement, be able to go up and wait and make the movement look really good along with it's helping you progress. It's kind of like a thing where if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Huh. Let me look at some of the comments. So happy, happy, happy workout Wednesday. Did you work out today, by the way, or not yet? Today was my rest day, so I'll be training tomorrow. Oh, so it's on Wednesdays. I thought it was like Sunday, like like for everyone or something. I don't know. No, I, I my rest days will uh, they vary each week because I train two days in a row and then a day off, so it's always different on a week to week basis. Huh. that's good to know. For some reason, I had this crazy idea that the rest day was on, on only on Sundays. <laughs> no, I used- that where I would take my rest days just on Sunday, like on uh, Thursday and Sunday. But sometimes it lines up for that. Huh. Awesome. Eric, hola Johnny, espero que estén los dos bien. Solo paso a dejar mi like porque tengo cosas que hacer. So someone in Spanish saying that um that he wishes that he would be with us, but he has some things to do. But he's saying that hope, ho- hopefully everything is going fine. Thank you. Then... Uh, it's a Slade. I know, I know, I know who you are, bro. <laughs> I interviewed someone before, and he's like, I, I was like, "Hi, Risky Frisky," and he's like, "It's a Slade." I'm like, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Joshua Corner, uh, when he's saying triple stood Johnny five 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 Danilo and Slade. All right, that that's that's fine. That's funny. So, do you recommend? Like a stretching before doing some sort of workouts, especially when you're lifting lifting weight? Uh, a little bit. Kind of more like dynamic stretching where you're just getting the muscle loose, but you're not really stretching it to the point to where – like people will stretch for like 30 minutes a day. When you're sitting there for like 30, 45 seconds in a stretch, you're really stretching the muscle out. I just kind of do like 10 seconds on a muscle group. Mm-hmm. Um, because you don't want to stretch too much prior for the muscle to be too loosened up because then you can be prone to injury. I do recommend a little bit though. Like you can foam roll a little bit, stretch out just a tiny bit, hold them for like around 10 seconds, but nothing crazy before. I always usually stretch afterwards or on a rest day. Mm, that's cool, man. Because that, now that I'm starting and getting and focusing a little bit more on working out, sometimes when I'm in the gym, I'm like looking at other people, like seeing like how they start, what work does they do, right? And I and I have I have noticed that some people like they come and do their stretches, and then they do their workout right. But I see some other people that they don't stretch; they just go straight to the you know the workout. Yeah, I do like to warm up a little bit. I don't know if you have the the little back machines where you sit on it, like you put your knees onto it, and there's a little handle, and you can like lean back with it. They have those at my gym, and I'll use that to like stretch out my lower back a little bit and like just kind of stretch my spine out, but. People that stretch very aggressively before they train, it's you can be very prone to injury. If you don't stretch, I just recommend before, like once you're getting into your workout, just do a couple extra upsets just to make sure, you know, your muscles are ready. Like you're not going into a heavy movement, not warmed up. I saw a comment. Someone wrote like, Danilo, can you peg bounce? And the thing is that before, <laughs> before I used to be called, um, I, I used to go by Danilo. Then I switched to Johnny. So that's not my real name. I go by Johnny555. But before I used to go by Danilo. So when, when that person typed, can you, Danilo, can you pick bounce? I'm like, no, I cannot. I was like, no, I can't. Wait, that was your name too? That was my name. That's crazy. Danilo. Mm-hmm. Wow. And actually in my Facebook, in my Facebook, I still go by Danilo. That's awesome. We got the same name. <laughs> Not legally though. I, I used I like the name, so I used to go by Danilo, but the, it was not my legal name. Okay. Yeah, but I, I that's why when I see when I saw that comment, I was like, no, I cannot. I cannot pick bounce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I wasn't able to, but now I can like I can do it now. 
You can do it. I can yeah. tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. And so I know you're an influencer, but if you weren't and you had the opportunity to work with a fitness influencer, who would that be? Do you have someone in mind? Yeah. I mean, even now, like I'd like to work, like train with certain people. Um, I would like to get a workout in with Chris. Bum said, of course, I feel like anyone wants to train with him. But uh, I would say I really want to work out with Jay Cutler one day. I think that would be really cool. Um, off the top of my head, I can't really think of anyone else at the moment. No. I have someone in mind, though. Uh, I don't know if you know him. Um, Bradley Martin? Yeah, I know Bradley. He, whoa, man. He, I think he has two, two channels. One, like, for funny videos and the other one for workout stuff. He looks amazing, man. Yeah, he looks really, really good. That's awesome, man. Oh. All right, so let's move on to the games. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> so I'm going to put you through some um, things, awkward things that happen in the gym. Okay. And I want, I want to see your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> So I want you to be honest, okay? Don't fake it. Just tell me the truth, okay? okay. All right. So what's your reaction? So you are on the treadmill, and that person next to you smells. What do you do? <laughs> Honestly, this it hasn't happened before on the treadmill, but it's there's been like me walking past people in the gym. There's actually a guy at my gym. <laughs> that he smells every single workout. And if I was on the treadmill, I honestly would probably get off of it and just go home and do my cardio at home because I would feel <laughs> bad going into another one. I would feel bad to do that. that. That's funny, man, because I have run into that. Because the thing is that since I'm just starting, I don't really do much weight. I'm mm -hmm. mostly on the treadmill and I have run into that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like... You don't want to be mean. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be mean, but then I'm like, come on, people. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't ever want to be that person. Like, if I smell, I want someone to like smack me and be like, go put deodorant on. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, so next question. So, what's your reaction? Someone wants to use the equipment you're using and ask if they can work out with you. If people like want to work, I, they, I'm fine with them working in. Like, I've okay. offered. People to work in before because i mean especially in a busy gym like i get it if they want to use a set i just keep my headphones on and i don't like talk to the person oh huh, okay yeah i'm gonna put that in practice because i do feel like when i'm using an equipment and they want to work out like because they want to use the equipment i'm like oh man come on yeah no i i know i felt like that before but at the same time it's like when it's really busy and I see that the machines are kind of taken. I'm like, I get it. I, I would hope for the same thing if I asked someone. Especially around this time here in California. Oh, everybody's yeah. getting out of work. Mm -hmm. ay, ay, ay. Okay, so number three. So what's your reaction? So you just got to the gym and all the equipment is in use. Turn around and go to a different gym. <laughs> Do you have different memberships? Or just uh, I have one for powerhouse. There's two different powerhouses. So I, I live okay. about 10 minutes from one, but the other one's like 30 minutes away. I would just drive around and go to the other one. Or I try and find a gym nearby and do like a day pass. Oh, okay. That's not a bad idea. Because the one that I go to, it's always packed. It's really? always packed. Yeah. And there is another one, but it's a little bit more, more like towards the opposite direction from where I'm going and I'm like, Oh, should I go there or not? But what if it's the same thing? Yeah. You can try it out one day and see. Yeah. I'm going to try it out and see. All right. Number four. So you want to use this equipment and there is a sweaty guy using it. He leaves, but he doesn't clean the machine. Uh, I've said before to someone, I was like, are you going to like wipe it? <laughs> it's just to me it's like if i'm if if i sweat on something i'll wipe it down usually i i don't if there's really no sweat on it because i'm like i don't feel like i need to wipe it down but i would definitely ask them be like look can you wipe your sweat off like i'm not gonna do that <laughs> man i have done it and i'm like 
I'm just making. I'm, I'm getting. I'm. I get upset and everything. But I haven't talked to the to that person. But I'm like, clean your freaking machine yeah, no. <laughs> after you use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. All right. So number five. So you're working out on a machine, and there is a person staring at you all the time and super obvious. What would you do? I have this happen a lot. And I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I usually, I honestly usually don't say anything because a lot of the time I'll pass by them and then they'll say something and then it's kind of not awkward anymore. Um, sure. But like it happened yesterday at the gym. This kid was like jaw dropped, like looking at me. And, <laughs> and I went over and worked out next to him and his buddies. And then they started talking to me like, do you compete? So it wasn't awkward after that, but I don't, okay. I don't take it as like a bad thing if someone's looking. Um, if I like turn around though and they're just like hard staring at me and not breaking eye contact, that's when I'm like, <laughs> what's like, is there something wrong? You know, and because um, and, sometimes I do that, not like staring at people, but sometimes I do like when I see someone doing an, an exercise, for example, and I want to do it. But I want to do it right, so I kind of look at people doing the the workout, so to get ideas. But sometimes I feel like, oh, what if the person thinks that I'm, you know, just checking at him or her, and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, that's gonna be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there is. I have a different game now. Five more questions. Have you ever? That's the title. You ready? Yep. All right. So have you ever gone all the way to the gym and realized you forgot your headphones? Yeah, I have. Man, and what do you do? Do you go back to pick them up or do you stay? I just went and worked out because I was like 30 minutes from my house. I'm like, I'm not going to turn around and drive back. It wasn't a bad workout either. It was still an okay workout. I don't get concentrated though. Really? Because it, ha- it, it, it has happened to me a few times. And I'm like, ah. Oh. And same thing. I'm, I'm like 30 minutes away from my house. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go back and then come back. Yeah, it's just a That's... waste. Of- I know, right? <laughs> all right. Second question. Have you ever gone all the way to the gym and realized you forgot to wear the other rent? Yes, I have done that. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> I, I, because now I keep a deodorant stick in my bag because I have done that before. And I honestly just kept my shirt on the whole time because I had like a, a tank on underneath. And I just wasn't even going to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be the sticky guy in the chair. Yeah, no, I was like, I'm not going to be that guy. <laughs> oh, man, that's that's funny. All right, number three. Actually, I didn't make these questions. I went online and I'm like, let me look at some awkward situations in the gym and and put them in practice. (laughs) All right, so number three. Have you ever wanted to punch someone in the face only because they gave you an advice on how to properly do an exercise? I've actually never had anyone come up to me in a way like that and, and do that and critique me. If it did happen, like you're saying, if it did happen, uh, de- depending who the person is, yeah, I probably wouldn't be happy. Because if it's <laughs> like a, a bodybuilder that is like a pro, they look really good, and they maybe tweak the movement, but if someone's like, you're doing that wrong, do it this way, I'd be like, what do you mean? Like, look how you look and look how I look. Like, what do you mean I'm doing it wrong? Right? So. So it, it, it'll depend on, depend on the person. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it, it makes sense. All right. Have you ever used the James mirror to check someone out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no shame saying that either. Man, I thought you were going to say no because you have a girlfriend. I was, no, like, right. I was going to be like, are you sure? In the past, yes, I have. Like in the past. Oh, okay. In the past. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All yeah, right. no. It's not currently. Don't worry. We're not going to tell her. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, my last question. Have you ever run out of hot water or any other issues at home and you have gone to the gym just to shower? 
No, I did run out of hot water, but my friend lived down the street, so I just went to their house and showered. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Yeah. I have, I have yeah. to confess. That's I okay. Have, yeah. Hey, it's okay. You I mean, shit. it was winter time, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was so cold. Yeah. And, <laughs> That's okay. And we ran out of hot water for like three days. I'm like, oh. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking a shower with cold water. So I went to the gym. That's fine. I mean, hey, like so you pay for the membership, right? Yeah, I'm taking advantage. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hot water just hits different. <laughs> true, Joshua. That is true. All right, man. Um. So that's it. Those are those are all my questions. Um. So thank you. Thank you for being with us. It was fun. Yeah, no, it was, <laughs> it was fun. fun seeing your reactions. I appreciate um, it. No, no problem, man. And um, you look amazing. And then for those who joined the live and then for those who are going to be watching the video later, if you want to follow um, Danilo, I was going to say I was gonna say Daniel. If you want to follow Danilo, uh, go check him out on the video descriptions. You'll see um, his social medias. Was that How many years have you been lifting? I don't almost, think I asked that. Question. Almost seven years, because I, I started when I was sixteen, and I'll be twenty-three in about a month. That's awesome, man. Mm. Yeah, but like I was saying, so if you want to follow Danilo, uh, go check the uh, description on the video. Um, also, so the social medias are in the video. He's a personal trainer. Uh, if, you, if you want motivation, go follow him. Can we maybe get some postings? Will you mind doing some postings? Yeah, I can do some posing. Here, let me. All right. Find a spot to do that. Uh, and that was, who was that? That was. I think Josh. Josh. All right, Josh. Oh, and since you competed before, you already know. Man, you look amazing, man. <laughs> man, I appreciate it. I'll, just, I'll run through just a couple. Do like a side chest. Hmm. Let's yeah. Uh, one day, one day, not too far. I'll look, <laughs> I'll, I'll look just a little bit. <laughs> no, man. It's good that you're, you're training, you're lifting. I think everyone get into the gym. That's why I love asking questions because I get tips. I mean, it's it's fun. I, I, I it's fun. It is, but I also get tips. Yeah. No. Of course. <sighs> No, man. So thank, thanks for being with us, all right? I really appreciate you. Yeah, thank so you. Have you soon. <laughs> all right, Danilo. So enjoy your, your evening because it's kind of late over there, huh? It is. Yeah, I got I got two meals to get down. Damn. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, bro. We'll take awesome. care, okay? We'll keep it Appreciate you, Johnny. Thank okay? you. I appreciate you, Danilo. Talk to you soon.